remarkably just a stone's throw away from the Capitol. Far from home and out of his typical political environment, Governor Gavin Newsom this week wrapped up his red state swing. The governor, seen here in Alabama, one of his series of stops in the launch of his new political action committee, the Campaign for Democracy. Its purpose, promote Democratic leaders in those states to fight the Republicans who run those states and their policies. That's what's going to be required of us to address so much of the rights regressions. We reached out to the Republican governors about their latest tourist. In a statement, spokesperson for Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders said, there's a reason why Gavin Newsom never focuses on the problems he's caused in his own state. California residents are experiencing sky high rent, but Governor Sanders is living rent free in his head. Spokesperson for Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said, in part, Governor DeSantis is committed to getting Florida's public institutions of higher learning refocused on academics and truth. Stunts from political opponents don't matter and have no effect. And Mississippi Governor Tate Reeves said in a statement, tourism helps drive Mississippi's economy and I am glad to welcome Governor Newsom to our state. Tate then went on to say all of the things in which he does not agree with Governor Newsom before saying his policy views are everything that's wrong with the National Democratic Party. Some Democratic leaders in those states said they appreciated Newsom's stop. Alabama's House Minority Leader Representative Anthony Daniels notes a lack of money and manpower has diminished the Democratic Party there. I think that'll help uh, him understand uh, with, the, with the PAG and understand our issues, uh, the lack of infrastructure and investment, uh, which makes things like what happened in Tennessee uh, more attainable for the other side when you don't have any type of uh, defensive mechanism. I asked NBC political director Chuck Todd if Newsom can be a savior for Democrats in red states. Do you think his new PAC is substantively helpful for them? Well, it's interesting. I think I know what you're picking up on because the new chair of the Florida Democratic Party seemed to be a little, uh, while welcoming of some of the messaging that, that Gavin Newsom was bringing to the state of Florida, made mention, hey, Florida is not California. And what, you know, the way Californians might want to be governed is not necessarily the way Floridians want to be governed. And the California Democratic Party may not be, you know, maybe a different flavor than the Florida Democratic Party. So I, I understand that concern. And I think, look, I think what's in Gavin Newsom's best interest is to be a national Democratic figure, showing that he's willing to take the fight wherever things go. Now, we still don't know how much money the governor's PAC has raised, aside from the $10 million Newsom put into it, left over from his reelection campaign in 2022. The governor is now on a personal vacation with family. And he will return to California on Wednesday. Ty, back to you. All right, Ashley, thank you. And today, Governor Newsom says he is contributing $10,000 to the Tennessee Democratic Party. It all comes after two Tennessee House members were expelled for protesting the lack of gun control laws on the House floor.